Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community, is brought to you by Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years. Hi, and welcome to Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community. I'm Mary Kate Carpetris, and we are back today to talk more about our Year of the Ox quilt and series and series of projects that we are presenting. And I'm here today with Q and Associate Editor Gigi Kalsa. Hello, Gigi. Hello. And Gigi made this super adorable fabric book using these shapes. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the book that you made. OK, so I um, sort of divorced it from the context of the Chinese zodiac because I just wanted to make a little animal book for mm -hmm. a little kid that they might like. So I just put animals on the front. You know, I just uh, found a font that I liked and photocopied it and traced it okay. onto my fusible, fusible web to get that. And so we'll just take a look at the book and you'll see I um, labeled each of the animals so that you can sort of learn your words. Absolutely. Learn your letters and all of that. And um, so today I'm just gonna show you how I made the pages and then you make as many pages as you want for your book mm -hmm. and then that's all you need to know. Fantastic. So let's get started. Yeah. First thing you'll want is your applique circle. I cut out my circles with a circle rotary cutter. Okay. Very easy to use, really nice. And um, I just raw edge fused them and I stitched them on with a straight stitch. Mm -hmm. So you can see on the back I've knotted and tied it and everything. So then we'll get our fusible web circle and put that on. And I didn't put this on before because I needed to stitch underneath this, of I course. See. So we'll just sort of center that in there and press it on and then we're ready to put it on our page. So you just want to make sure that it's centered. And that windowing just keeps it softer. It keeps it softer and you just use less product. Use less, right. Yeah, so it's, it's good all around. Yeah. You don't need the whole circle to be fused because you're going to stitch it down. Mm -hmm. So we've got that stitched down and it's ready to go on our page. And you may notice from the book that I've got my single page is a front and back. So when I arrange my appliques, I'm gonna put my horse on one side and this is gonna be the title page. So your next page is gonna have horse on this side and whatever animal is next. So on you the just wanna page. lay those out, kind of plan you need ahead. To, you need order. to plan ahead. Okay. And you can't really switch it once you've planned it because then your book will be out of order. Yes, yes. So you definitely need to plan ahead. And so here's my title. And you'll see I didn't stitch my A and the S because they go over the edge. And I'll just stitch those on after I fuse it to the page. Got it. So what I want to do is center my horse sort of a little closer to the folded edge than here because this is going to be caught in the binding. So I'm just going to peel my paper off, center it about an inch from the folded edge, maybe an inch and a half from the sides there, and just go ahead and press it on. And now the tricky thing is we're going to want to center the title page pretty much in the same place. Mm. I'll show you how I do that. Okay. So we'll unfold that. And you see you've got your nice fold. And my page is, I cut it nine inches by 18 inches, and then I just folded it in half. Okay. Press. So in order to figure out where you want to put your title applique, I just pin on the top and the bottom and both of the sides. And that gives me a sense of where my applique is. In it. And then when I turn it over, I'll have an exact guide Got it. where I need to put. And so I don't press my pins. I'm just going to mark where my pins enter the fabric so that I know where to put my applique and it's perfectly flat when I do it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take those out. 
turn it over. Now I'm ready to put this one on. Let's get that paper off. And there you go, and you just sort of center it right in there. Peel up your letters to make sure you're in the right spot. And voila. Looks good. Sure does. And then we'll press that on there. And at this point, I would go ahead and stitch these letters down onto the page. Okay. Just straight stitch on your Yeah, machine. just straight mm -hmm. stitch. Then we'll open our page back up, and now we need to stitch it together, or sort of stitch it so it's a single page. Mm -hmm. So I take my ruler, I like one that doesn't have a lot of volume right here, so you can really get a nice fold. I just lay that right against my press fold and pull this over, and pull it nice and taut. Line up the raw edges, get my pins, so that ruler just really ensures it that nice crisp edge and that everything's going to line up. Yeah, it guessing. makes sure that you're folding it right on the fold, mm -hmm. which is hard to do when it's pressed the opposite way. Right. So you just need a little help with that. You can pull your ruler out, and then you'll just stitch both sides. And I already have one made over here. Okay. So it's stitched on the side, you can see just both sides and I clip the corners. Okay. And I cut my batting eight inches square so I have a little bit of wiggle room. And I have a little trick for turning it right side out and getting the batting in there mm -hmm. all at one time. So you just sort of scrunch up your page, put your fingers right in the corners there, uh -huh. grab the corners of the batting and just flip it inside out. And then you can grab the batting through there. Nifty. Yeah. And that works out pretty well. And it then does. you can just sort of center it where you need to go. And you'll want to get your corners nice and neat. So we'll use my point turner. And then while you're here, you can just sort of run down the, the seam uh -huh. to sort of make your page page-like. Mm. <laughs> Do it on the other side too. Get a nice square and then you're ready to press. And I'm using fusible batting, so my oh. pressing will baste at the same nice. time. We'll just press that in. And even if you weren't using fusible batting, you're still going to stitch through. Yes. There's still a quilting stitch yeah, coming we're, up, so. At this point, now that you're pressed, you'll want to press both sides. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything's nice and neat. And at this point, yeah, you're ready to quilt however you want. I mm -hmm. just did a, a circle, which catches both the front and back, mm -hmm. and then I did a little stitch about a quarter inch from the edge. Just to keep it square. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And that's it, that's your page. That's your page. Once you've got as many pages as you want, I did seven pages for six animals. You'll want to, so here you can see my finished page. Yes. Um, you just stack up all your pages. In You'll order. In order, yeah. yes, make sure they're in order. Without saying, but you know. Yes, and um, in order to get them all straight, make them tap down on the outside of the page rather than the other side. Mm -hmm. And um, then you'll just want to, rather than pin, because you'll have a lot of bulk at this point. Yeah, it's pretty thick. It's pretty thick. So you can use your clips to hold everything together. And then I just take a needle and thread and baste about a quarter inch here. Mm -hmm. And then you can see on my original book, this is really just an extra wide quilt binding. Okay. That's all I Double did. Fold. Double fold. I cut it four inches wide, a oh. little bit longer. And um, this was too thick for my machine, so I had to sew it all by hand. Oh, the whole thing? The whole thing. But it just, that's fine. I'm sure you could. Um, come up with different ways to bind it if that doesn't appeal to you. Sure. But it's very, it's very simple and easy. You just have to half an hour or so. Right. And then that's it. You're, You're done. All done. Well, it's, a, it's really adorable. And I will just say these things definitely get used. You know, little yeah. kids love these things because they are, they're, they're soft. They can't rip them. <laughs> they can't, you know, they can't. I tried to make it indestructible. Them. So it's pretty indestructible. Yeah. And then, and the animals and then with the words and great. Great idea, great project. Thanks so much. Thank you. Be sure to check back with us to see more projects that we're doing with the Year of the Ox pattern. We hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.
Quilters Newsletter TV, The Quilters Community, is brought to you by Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years.